Did you forget something? Yeah. Yeah, I did. What the hell did you do? Oh, my God. Did I kill her? Did I kill her? I, 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 I didn't mean to kill her. I just, she, 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 she made me so mad. She's gonna be just fine. I know about us. What the hell were you thinking? She, she, was, she was kissing you. You could have killed her. Well, what the hell was I supposed to do? Ignore it and go back to my cave? To turn down the sheets and sprinkle rose petals Don't for the two ridiculous. of you? Don't be ridiculous. Well, it's a good thing I stopped her before something else She came in here and kissed me. What am I supposed to do about it? We didn't push her away. Go upstairs. <laughs> Take this thing. It doesn't matter. Her. Go upstairs. I'll fix it. Okay. Oh, you just take it easy. I took a bit of a bump there. Oh, well, it was a hell of a kiss, but what happened to my head? Uh, the door. What? How did that happen? Well, you know how now Jesse kicked it in and was just kind of hanging on, and then it it fell. I should get you to the hospital. No, come on. You can't leave your sons. Well, you can't drive yourself, so Please, I Please, come on. I'm fine. Sit I'm sorry. fine. Whoa. I will call them, Oof. and they will send somebody over here. <sighs> you got burning steaks and... Flying doors? You sure this house isn't possessed? Hey, uh, how you doing? Uh, Zach Slater calling. 33 Tree Line Circle. Had a bit of an accident at the house. Head injury and we... No, I don't think it's life-threatening. Otherwise, I would have called 911. You... No, absolutely. Send some of you. Great. Thank you for your help. That's awesome. Can I get you some water? No, no, no. Um, I'm fine. Just uh, talk to me. I'll talk to you about water. If you want some water, I'll get you some water. No, what do they say? You know, if somebody gets a head injury, you should talk to them and keep them awake and alert. Okay. So what do you want to talk about? Us. So you want to talk about us, us as in... You helping me and my wife with the appeal of us, as in you helping me with Adam and the loan? Or... No, as in us, as in the night at the casino. That passion we have, that needed it, we wanted it. Well, that was one night. Yeah, that I can't forget. I've tried to talk myself out of this, believe me. I've tried to explain the situation. People get... Weird about stuff like that, you know? They talk and do things, spend a lot of time together, and sometimes... Zach, please. You may... Don't. Don't patronize me. Don't. I know what this is. I get it. I'm not... not happy about it. It's not the kind of woman that I am. I am not some lovesick, puppy dog eyes kind of woman. I see a problem, and I identify it, and I get rid of it. And that's how you get rid of things? You walk into somebody's house and kiss them? That's not solving any problem, is it? chemistry, Zach, and it takes two. And I feel it. Okay, if it's not chemistry, what is it? Maybe it's a concussion. <laughs> Maybe it's a connection. It's because I trust you. I mean, you could have told the whole world that I was faking my pregnancy, and you didn't. You didn't even tell Kendall. We share a secret. That's it. Is it? What is it? What? I thought I heard one of my boys. My mistake. No, this is my mistake. I, uh, I thought getting this out was gonna help, but I guess not. I value our friendship. <laughs> Door prize. But I love my yeah. wife. And her being behind bars, it doesn't change things. Well, Fifteen years to life. That's a long time. No. Not if you signed on forever. She's very lucky, Kendall. What the hell happened here? David, you're the doctor on call? Yeah, that would be me. <laughs> Oh, so who ripped the door off? It's a long story, but anyway, 
It lies in the head. Oh. It's a dangerous place. So the door hit her on the head? Follow my finger with yeah, your eyes. Yeah, it busted off its hinges and it finally fell. I was surprised there wasn't more damage. But then again, I'm pretty confident you've got a hard head. Is she gonna be all right? Well, she sustained a severe bump on her head. You know, with a door that size, I'd like to bring you in for an MRI. Oh, come on. Is that really necessary? Listen to David, you should go. Can't you just give me some aspirin? Listen I'll be fine. A door that size hits you on the head, you could be bleeding into your brain. You feel all right now, an hour later, not so good, and then it's too late. Go to the hospital, lad. All right, because it wouldn't be so good to have Kendall's attorney at a commission, would it? <laughs> Listen, um, I'm glad we could talk. I'm glad we're on the same page. Absolutely. Shall we? You could have told the world, but you didn't. Not even Kendall. What the hell was that about? It's a long story. I don't want to hear the story. I want to hear why you kept Liza's secret and why you didn't tell me that she was never pregnant. Why? Because it's a secret. You didn't need to know. Zach, I'm your wife. We shouldn't have secrets. Well, there's a lot of things that husbands and wives don't do to each other. I, I thought it was just one night. You and Liza, sex, that's it. That's what you said. But this, sharing secrets, that's something to get cozy with. Just, just the two of you. A reason to confide in each other and put your heads together. Did you tell her the part where your wife doesn't understand you? If I told you now that you were overreacting, would you believe me? Zach, I am trapped in a room completely dependent on you for everything. I have no control. But Liza's free. She's free to, to, to make her own choices. She comes and goes as she pleases. And she seems to please you. Oh, well, you're not trapped in a room now, are you? But maybe you should be. Go to bed. Oh, that's it. Okay, send me back to my, my room. Lock me in for the night and shut me up. That'll work. I want to please you, Zach. I want to make you happy, and I can't. But Liza... Liza what? You, you have feelings for her, don't you? And I don't. You heard that, didn't you? You were listening to everything? You, you had to say that because you knew I was listening. Zach, I thought that... Liza's baby might have been yours. You could have told me then, but I you didn't. I kept her because... secret for you. I blackmailed her so she would be your lawyer. Well, you still could have told me. Do you know how many nights I, 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 I stared at the ceiling, wondering, thinking that there was something more between you and Liza? You denied it, but I was right. You chose her over me. You shared something with her that you kept from me. Now, maybe you think because it wasn't sex, it doesn't count. But you know what? I've seen the two of you together. I felt it. It's there. Sleep. 